I love playing games in my classroom. Just about before every test, I would always play some sort of a Jeopardy game, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I have a great mole game that I like to play from the TV show The Mole. Um, games in that respect, I, I had a lot of times connected them with a PowerPoint um, to help with the graphics and the sound and to really make it really fun for my class. Um, but at the same time, sometimes I really question if this is a good use of my class time. Um, it takes quite a bit more time to get the game started, get everyone to understand the rules, and then I can't get through as many practice problems. So um, since I can't do as much work, I have to rely on there being more engagement and the students are going to get more out of it because they're playing the game. But then I also question, what about my lower students? Is this really benefiting them? I mean, it's a review activity, so I'm just trying to go over it and remind everybody of the things that we've learned throughout the unit. But for those who don't get it, is this review activity really a good way to get them to be up to speed so that they'll be successful on the test? Or is it just a way for them to be able to hide in the crowd as the other students are really excited to play the game, but, and so then they're shouting out the answers and participating and allows the uh, students who aren't quite at the right level that they need to be for the test to kind of hide back and not be ready, which would obviously be the, the goal of a, a review activity is to get all the students ready for the test. So just some different things to think about when you are preparing games is really how are you addressing all of the learners? What is the objective here? Is it, is it just to have fun and to interject some fun into your classroom? Or really, does this make uh, the learning better? Is this going to be more engaging